Today I'm going to talk to you about Coughlin's Waterproof Fire Sticks, a kind of inexpensive fire starter that come 12 to a pack. Stay tuned, I'm going to do some field tests using them. Coughlin's advertises that these start fires quickly and safely, are odor-free, and burn completely while being non-toxic. If you look inside the package, you find what appears to be compressed fiber mixed with what smells to be wax. There's a wax odor when they burn. Okay, this over here, this stick, is one that I've broken in half here. And that's what the directions for these Coughlin's fire starters say to do. So what I'm going to do, or what I have done I should say, is I have scraped a little of the fire starter up. And what I plan to do is attempt to light it using my Exotech um, Polystriker Pro Ferro Rod. And we're going to see how well it lights. And if it does, then we'll know we got a good thing here. Well, that wasn't hard at all. And that wasn't hard either. So, it looks like no problem in terms of lighting it. This is a humid night, but it is, um, these are um, relatively dry conditions. And as you can see, getting fire going is not going to be a problem in this test. Okay, for this test, what I'm going to do is take this Coughlin's fire starting stick out. It's been in the water 30, almost 38 minutes. So I'm going to pull it out, inspect it. It definitely is wet coated on the outside, um, not shedding water the way it did when I just poured stuff over. Break it open. Yeah, it's still dry on the inside. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can scrape off a little bit of this outer part, even though it is somewhat wet. Should scrape up okay. Yep. I'll scrape a little bit deeper than I have before. That came up no problem. Let's test this. Well, squirted it all off. Let's try that again. All right, so it's definitely harder to start at this point, but I may not have found the right technique here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scrape off a bunch of this outer part, this wet. Inner part may be wet too for all I know. Make a little tender pile here and see if that will light. All right, no problem. In so-called flare mode, the fire stick burns 15 minutes. So what are my conclusions? My conclusions basically are these are excellent fire starters for the money. They don't cost too much, three or four bucks at most that I've seen, sometimes down as two to two dollars for a bag of twelve. Uh, they are waterproof if they're just you know rained on or um, just doused with water, they're gonna do absolutely fine. Uh, may take slightly longer if they have been soaked in water for some reason. My test ran nearly 40 minutes of soaking it, submerging it in water completely, and I was still able to break it open, scrape off some, some fuzz off the stick, and use a ferrocerium rod to light it. So these are good products, and they are uh, well-priced for the average consumer. 